The forest loomed before us, its ancient trees stretching skyward like silent sentinels guarding the secrets hidden within. Max, my faithful companion, stood by my side, his keen senses alert to the slightest movement in the underbrush. With a deep breath, I stepped forward, my heart pounding with a mix of excitement and apprehension. The memory of the strange noises that had haunted my nights at the cabin lingered in the back of my mind, driving me forward into the unknown. Whatever lurked in the depths of the forest seemed to beckon to me, a mystery waiting to be unraveled. As we ventured deeper into the woods, the air grew thick with the scent of pine and earth, and the sounds of civilization faded into the distance. The only sound was the crunch of leaves beneath our feet and the occasional rustle of wildlife in the undergrowth. But despite the tranquility of the forest, a sense of unease gnawed at me, like a shadow lurking just beyond the edge of my vision. Max, ever vigilant, sensed my apprehension and stayed close by my side, his eyes scanning the darkness for any sign of danger. Hours passed as we trekked deeper into the wilderness, the sun sinking lower in the sky with each passing moment. The forest seemed to stretch on endlessly, its secrets hidden beneath a canopy of leaves that blocked out the fading light. Suddenly, a low growl echoed through the trees, sending a chill down my spine. Max stiffened beside me, his fur bristling with tension as he scanned the darkness for the source of the sound. I gripped the flashlight tighter, my heart racing with anticipation. Then, out of the shadows emerged a figure, a tall, imposing silhouette with glowing eyes that pierced through the darkness. Max let out a fierce bark, but the figure remained unfazed, its gaze fixed on me with an intensity that sent chills down my spine. With a sense of dread creeping over me, I realized that we were not alone in the forest. Whatever lurked in the shadows was watching us, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Gathering my courage, I took a step forward, determined to confront whatever lurked in the darkness. With Max at my side, I ventured deeper into the forest, ready to uncover the truth behind the strange noises that haunted my nights at the cabin. Little did I know, our journey was just beginning and the secrets hidden within the forest would challenge everything I thought I knew about the world around me. As the figure stepped forward into the moonlight, its features became clear. A tall, imposing figure with a face twisted with rage. It was unlike anything I had ever seen before, a creature straight out of a nightmare. Max growled menacingly, his teeth bared in a silent warning to stay back, but the figure paid him no mind, its gaze fixed on me with a cold intensity that sent a shiver down my spine. Who are you? I demanded, trying to keep the fear out of my voice. The figure chuckled darkly, the sound echoing through the clearing like the tolling of a funeral bell. I am the guardian of these woods, it hissed, its voice dripping with malice. And you, trespasser, are not welcome here. I swallowed hard, my mind racing with fear and uncertainty. Whatever dark forces lurked in the forest, they were beyond my understanding, their motives shrouded in mystery. But despite the danger, a sense of determination burned within me, driving me forward in spite of the fear gnawing at my insides. I had come too far to turn back now, my quest for answers far from over. What do you want from me? I demanded my voice steady despite the fear coursing through my veins. The figure's eyes narrowed, a cruel smile playing at the corners of its lips. I want nothing from you, mortal, it replied, its voice dripping with disdain. But know this, these woods belong to me, and I will not tolerate intruders in my domain. With a wave of its hand, the figure vanished into the darkness, leaving me standing alone in the clearing with nothing but my thoughts and the eerie glow of the symbols etched into the forest floor. As I stared at the strange patterns, a sense of unease washed over me, like a whisper in the back of my mind warning me of the dangers to come. Whatever dark forces lurked in the shadows, they were far more powerful than I had ever imagined, their motives shrouded in mystery. But despite the fear gnawing at my insides, a sense of determination burned within me, driving me forward in spite of the danger. I had come too far to turn back now, my quest for answers far from over. With a deep breath, I turned to leave the clearing, 
my mind racing with thoughts of what lay ahead. Whatever lay in store for me, one thing was certain. This was only the beginning of a journey that would change my life forever. Armed with newfound knowledge, I set out to unravel the mysteries of the forest, guided by the ancient symbols etched into the earth. Max stayed close by my side, his senses on high alert as we navigated the twisting paths and shadowy groves. But despite the danger lurking in the darkness, a sense of determination burned within me, driving me forward in spite of the fear gnawing at my insides. I had come too far to turn back now, my quest for answers far from over. As we journeyed deeper into the heart of the forest, the air grew thick with tension, each rustle of leaves and snap of a twig sending a shiver down my spine. But with the guidance of the symbols, we pressed on, determined to uncover the truth hidden within the shadows. Hours passed as we trekked deeper into the wilderness, the moon casting an eerie glow through the tangled branches overhead. The night was alive with the sounds of the wilderness, a symphony of chirping crickets and rustling leaves that seemed to echo in the darkness. Suddenly, we stumbled upon a clearing bathed in moonlight, the trees parting to reveal a scene straight out of a nightmare. Strange symbols adorned the forest floor, glowing faintly in the darkness like a beacon calling out to the unknown. With a sense of trepidation, I approached the symbols, my heart pounding in my chest as I traced their intricate patterns with my fingertips. There was something familiar about the symbols, as if I had seen them before in a dream. But before I could unravel the mystery, a voice echoed through the darkness, sending a jolt of fear coursing through my veins. It was a voice from the past, filled with a cold malice that chilled me to the bone. Who dares trespass in my domain? The voice boomed, its words echoing through the clearing like the tolling of a funeral bell. I spun around, my flashlight cutting through the darkness to reveal the source of the voice. A figure cloaked in shadow, its eyes gleaming with a sinister light. With a sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach, I realized that we were not alone in the forest. Whatever dark forces lurked in the shadows had been watching us all along, waiting for the perfect moment to reveal themselves. But despite the fear gnawing at my insides, a sense of determination burned within me, driving me forward in spite of the danger. I had come too far to turn back now, my quest for answers far from over. With a deep breath, I stepped forward, ready to face whatever dangers lay ahead. Little did I know, our journey was just beginning and the secrets hidden within the forest would challenge everything I thought I knew about the world around me. As I approached the mysterious figure, a sense of unease washed over me, like a whisper in the back of my mind warning me of the danger to come. But despite the fear gnawing at my insides, a sense of curiosity drove me forward, eager to uncover the truth behind the strange occurrences that had led me here. Who are you? I demanded, my voice steady despite the fear coursing through my veins. The figure regarded me with a solemn expression, its eyes gleaming with an otherworldly light. I am the guardian of these woods, it replied, its voice soft yet commanding. And you, traveler, are trespassing in my domain. I swallowed hard my mind racing with fear and uncertainty. Whatever dark forces lurked in the forest, they were beyond my understanding, their motives shrouded in mystery. But why have you brought me here? I asked, my voice barely above a whisper. The figure's eyes softened, a hint of sadness flickering in their depths. I brought you here because you are the chosen one, it replied, its voice barely more than a whisper the one destined to uncover the truth hidden within these woods. I stared at the figure in disbelief, my mind reeling with the implications of its words. Could it be true? Was I truly the chosen one, destined to unravel the mysteries of the forest and uncover the truth hidden within its depths? But before I could respond, the figure reached out a hand, its touch sending a jolt of energy coursing through my veins. Listen closely, traveler, it said, its voice filled with urgency. The secrets of this forest are vast and ancient, hidden within the very fabric of the earth itself. As the figure spoke, images flashed before my eyes, a distant memory clawing its way to the surface, 
I saw strange symbols etched into the forest floor, glowing faintly in the darkness like a beacon calling out to the unknown. These symbols hold the key to unlocking the mysteries of the forest. The figure continued, its voice echoing in my mind like a distant whisper. But beware, for dark forces lurk in the shadows, waiting to claim those who dare to seek the truth. With a sense of determination burning within me, I nodded in understanding, ready to face whatever dangers lay ahead. Little did I know, our journey was just beginning, and the secrets hidden within the forest would challenge everything I thought I knew about the world around me. As I made my way through the forest, the air grew thick with tension. Each rustle of leaves and snap of a twig sending a shiver down my spine. Max stayed close by my side, his senses on high alert as we navigated the maze of trees and undergrowth. But despite the fear gnawing at me, a sense of determination burned within me, driving me forward in spite of the danger. I had come too far to turn back now, my quest for answers far from over. Hours passed as we trekked deeper into the heart of the forest, the moon casting an eerie glow through the tangled branches overhead. The night was alive with the sounds of the wilderness, a symphony of chirping crickets and rustling leaves that seemed to echo in the darkness. Suddenly, a strange noise echoed through the trees, a haunting melody that sent a chill down my spine. Max stiffened beside me, his ears perked up as he scanned the darkness for any sign of danger. I gripped the flashlight tighter, my heart pounding in my chest as I strained to listen to the eerie music drifting through the forest. There was something otherworldly about the sound, as if it were calling out to me from the depths of the wilderness. With a sense of trepidation, I followed the sound deeper into the forest, my senses on high alert as we navigated the twisting paths and shadowy groves. Max stayed close by my side, his presence a comforting reminder that I was not alone in the darkness. As we ventured deeper into the heart of the forest, the music grew louder, its haunting melody weaving through the trees like a siren's song. It was hypnotic, drawing me ever closer to the source of the sound with each passing moment. But as we rounded a bend in the trail, the music abruptly ceased, leaving nothing but silence in its wake. I scanned the darkness for any sign of movement, my heart pounding in my chest as I braced myself for whatever lay ahead. Suddenly, a figure stepped out from behind a gnarled tree, its eyes gleaming with an otherworldly light. I froze in place, my breath catching in my throat as I stared at the mysterious figure before me. It was unlike anything I had ever seen before, a creature straight out of myth and legend. Its skin was pale as moonlight, its eyes glowing with an unearthly brightness that seemed to pierce straight through to my soul. With a sense of dread creeping over me, I realized that we were not alone in the forest. Whatever dark forces lurked in the shadows, they were watching us, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. But despite the fear gnawing at my insides, a sense of determination burned within me, driving me forward in spite of the danger. I had come too far to turn back now, my quest for answers far from over. With a deep breath, I stepped forward, ready to face whatever dangers lay ahead. Little did I know, our journey was just beginning, and the secrets hidden within the forest would challenge everything I thought I knew about the world around me. As the figure stepped forward into the moonlight, its features became clear. A tall, imposing figure with a face twisted with rage. It was unlike anything I had ever seen before, a creature straight out of a nightmare. Max growled menacingly, his teeth bared in a silent warning to stay back. But the figure paid him no mind, its gaze fixed on me with a cold intensity that sent a shiver down my spine. Who are you? I demanded, trying to keep the fear out of my voice. The figure chuckled darkly, the sound echoing through the clearing like the tolling of a funeral bell. I am the guardian of these woods, it hissed, its voice dripping with malice. And you, trespasser, are not welcome here. I swallowed hard, my mind racing with fear and uncertainty. Whatever dark forces lurked in the forest, they were beyond my understanding, their motives shrouded in mystery. But despite the danger, a sense of determination burned within me, 
driving me forward in spite of the fear gnawing at my insides. I had come too far to turn back now, my quest for answers far from over. What do you want from me? I demanded, my voice steady despite the fear coursing through my veins. The figure's eyes narrowed, a cruel smile playing at the corners of its lips. I want nothing from you, mortal, it replied, its voice dripping with disdain. But know this, these woods belong to me, and I will not tolerate intruders in my domain. With a wave of its hand, the figure vanished into the darkness, leaving me standing alone in the clearing with nothing but my thoughts and the eerie glow of the symbols etched into the forest floor. As I stared at the strange patterns, a sense of unease washed over me, like a whisper in the back of my mind warning me of the dangers to come. Whatever dark forces lurked in the shadows, they were far more powerful than I had ever imagined, their motives shrouded in mystery. But despite the fear gnawing at my insides, a sense of determination burned within me, driving me forward in spite of the danger. I had come too far to turn back now, my quest for answers far from over. With a deep breath, I turned to leave the clearing, my mind racing with thoughts of what lay ahead. Whatever lay in store for me, one thing was certain. This was only the beginning of a journey that would change my life forever. As we delved deeper into the heart of the forest, the air grew thick with tension, each rustle of leaves and snap of a twig sending a shiver down my spine. Max stayed close by my side, his senses on high alert as we navigated the maze of trees and undergrowth. The mysterious figure remained just out of reach, its presence a constant reminder of the dangers lurking in the shadows. But despite the fear gnawing at me, a sense of curiosity drove me forward, determined to uncover the truth behind the strange occurrences that had led me here. With each step, the forest seemed to come alive with whispered secrets, the ancient trees bearing witness to events long forgotten. It was as if the very earth itself was alive, pulsing with a hidden energy that tingled in the air. Suddenly, we stumbled upon a clearing bathed in moonlight, the trees parting to reveal a scene straight out of a nightmare. Strange symbols adorned the forest floor, glowing faintly in the darkness like a beacon calling out to the unknown. Max let out a low growl, his hackles raised as he surveyed the eerie sight before us. I felt a chill run down my spine, my instincts screaming at me to turn back and flee from whatever dark forces lurked in the shadows. But something compelled me to stay, a sense of destiny pulling me toward the heart of the mystery. With a deep breath, I stepped into the clearing, my senses on high alert as I searched for any clue that might shed light on the strange occurrences that had led me here. As I examined the symbols etched into the forest floor, a sense of recognition washed over me, like a distant memory clawing its way to the surface. There was something familiar about the strange patterns, as if I had seen them before in a dream. But before I could unravel the mystery, a voice echoed through the darkness, sending a jolt of fear coursing through my veins. It was a voice from the past, filled with a cold malice that chilled me to the bone. Who dares trespass in my domain? The voice boomed, its words dripping with venom. I spun around, my flashlight cutting through the darkness to reveal the source of the voice. A figure cloaked in shadow, its eyes gleaming with a sinister light. With a sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach, I realized that we were not alone in the forest. Whatever dark forces lurked in the shadows had been watching us all along, waiting for the perfect moment to reveal themselves.